Hello everybody, my name is Emmett, and today I'm going to be uh, showing you the first part of my top surgery journey. Uh, so this will be a shorter video that's just going to show some stuff that I recorded just before surgery and then just a couple of days afterwards. Um, I do have some pictures too that I'm going to throw in. I'm not sure if I'm going to put them in at the end of this video or if I'm going to put them in the next video where I sort of talk about more uh, recovery and then show what I look like now. Uh, so we'll see. Uh, so if they're not at the end of this video, they'll definitely be in the next video. So if there are any questions or anything that you would like me to address in my next video about uh, recovery and being three months post-op, then feel free to comment down below. I'll try to get to those questions in that video. Uh, if I don't get to them in that video, then I might even do a part three uh, answering those questions. Um, but yeah. So it is 12.02 on the night before surgery. Uh, hopefully you can hear this. I'm trying to be quiet because my mom's asleep in the other room. And I think it's all kind of starting to hit me now. Um, or at least the nerves are. So I guess that counts as it's starting to hit me. Um, I'm supposed to be at the uh, surgery center by 1.30 tomorrow. Uh, technically today. Uh, but 1.30 talk to the anesthesiologists and stuff um, and then about an hour or so after that so around 2 33 o'clock uh, will be the actual surgery it's just crazy to me that this is really happening and by this time tomorrow <laughs> you know this will I'll be over with, or the surgery will at least, and I'll still have recovery for a few weeks, but the surgery will be over with. And that's just so insane to me because this is something that I've wanted for so long, even before I really knew this is what I wanted, if that makes sense. If I had known this was an option when I was a kid and I was feeling so horrible about myself and my body and everything that was happening to it with puberty and stuff, I would have wanted this immediately. Um, so to have waited years and years and years and years, like 10, 11 years, and now it's finally happening. Oh, you know, like, damn. <laughs> uh, I don't know if I'll be able to do any kind of update tomorrow. Um because it's kind of a far drive to the surgery center. I'll be leaving the surgery center at around, I don't know, seven-ish, 6.30, seven o'clock-ish. And then the drive home is about an hour and a half, two hours. So I don't know if I'll be updating tomorrow, but I'll definitely try to keep everybody updated in the next few days. Uh, uh, next time I see you, um, I'll see you on the other side. <laughs> I'm in the surgery center now. I'm waiting to be called back. I've got all of the payment stuff done and finishing up some paperwork. And then I'll talk to the anesthesiologist and stuff. And then we'll be good to go. Hello, everybody. I apologize for the horrible angle. Um, but I am currently four days post-op. Um, I'm doing a lot better than I thought that I would be. Um, I'm still just a little, you know, kind of out of it right now. Uh, but I feel really good for the most part. Um, I haven't really had any real pain or anything. Been pretty pain-free. Uh, the only thing that's really been bothering me um, is the ace wrap that I'm in because they have me in an ace wrap instead of a binder. Uh, but other than that, I feel pretty good. Um, been sleeping a lot. Uh, 
you have to excuse my nose. I'm sorry, I'm kind of stuffed up with allergies and stuff. But, um, yeah, overall, things have been really good. Um, I don't know that I'll be able to film my reveal at the surgeon's office just because I have to go in by myself. I don't have anybody to film it for me. Um, but I will be uh, taking some pictures while I'm there when I get to see just so I can, you know, include it in here somewhere or post it somewhere, whatever, so.